Okay. Um, one quick note that I, I forgot to put in the last video. Okay, was that um, me for the past shit, 15 years, like 1994, I've been experiencing a, a documentation of any kind of paranormal activity in my life, okay? And um, even goes past that to grandma. It's, it's our gypsy blood. Um, however, I forgot who I just watched. Talk about dimensions, okay? If you get to a point where you're trying to meditate and trying to go to another plane, you actually see the grid, okay? Now, I've seen the grid more than once. And the first time I've ever seen the grid, mind you, I have a photo. Not the grid, okay, but the vortex. Check this out. Okay, let's see if I can do this. And left. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. You can, by the way, we got a new camera coming in two days. So we have to work about this scratch of shit on the plane right above. Look. Alright, back. You see the vortex? Okay, I want to focus on this. This is not backwards. This is not a, not a camera strap. Now, if you can see, you see the cable wire running from that door in the background against the wall by that curtain? And you see the vortex going over it, like, hey, where's the cable wire? Hmm, I don't know. Now, if this was a camera strap, how possibly could that land that way while you take a picture? Mind you, the shadow uh, right here. Okay, this picture was taking in 1999, that was my bedroom. Okay. Now, on that ceiling, a couple of nights a week, what I would see is this red and blue. Do you remember doing like, not algebra, do you remember doing math grids and the paper they would give you and it was like just, you know, checkers everywhere? It would be a red checker and then a blue checker kind of crossed off of the red checker. Okay? And I was laying there in bed looking at that, freaking my husband out. I'd be like, Holy shit, I'm seeing it again. It was, it was, <sighs> the blue, oops, red and blue, okay, so the red would be square patterns going across the whole ceiling, but the blue would be under it, and it would freak the shit out of me, and then I would see the orbs, Diving down through it, and diving down at me to the point where I'd be like, <gasps> and like dodging them and shit. So that was my first realization, put it back in the oven, of something's not normal here. Okay, now, there's one, right? Uh, we own a flooring company. Oh, I should send us a show me, baby. We actually do hardwood floors, by the way, not carpeting. Okay. So, for the customer, where am I? Antique floors. There's my husband's legs and shoes, and he's doing a poly and all that crap. 
see that? I took a picture because what we did was a before and after shot of the floors, right? <laughs> now, if we can look close enough, this house was in Haddam, Connecticut, and it was an antique home built in 17 something. You can actually drop a penny between the cracks of the floors. Now, do you see? Is it right? On my husband? What the hell was that? Okay. Now, mind you, I'm just taking a picture for the customer to show her the process of the polyurethane and all the BS. And I get that. I have more photos in my house, by the way. Forbes and a couple of EVPs, but I'm really pleased with EVPs anymore. So. Um, what else? I have plenty of crafts documented interdimensional beings contacting me, etc., etc. So, just want to throw that out there. Um, Guys, gonna wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, if you guys can go on my MySpace page, my MySpace page is called myspace.com R R I P S. So it's R dot R dot I dot P dot S. Okay. We did a clap memorial, which taps did. We did. Belshaw School Library, we did um, the Bush Town uh, Insane Asylum. There's plenty of info on there. And I don't believe that we're stuck in some one dimension. That's how I'm going at this. That we are in a multiple dimension. Forget the fourth dimension. We're going five, six, seven, eight, higher. That's why things are happening. Okay? That's why people right now are waking up. So, throw it at you. Comments are free. 